An axillary block is used to anesthetize the arm below the shoulder. It targets the four terminal branches of the brachial plexus, the radial, ulnar, median, and musculocutaneous nerves. However, the musculocutaneous nerve must be blocked separately. The axillary nerve is not blocked. We remember the breakdown of the brachial plexus, the mnemonic, Randy Travis drinks cold beer. The basic setup for an axillary block includes a 3 centimeter, 22 gauge, short bevel insulated needle, sterile towels and gauze, two 20 ml syringes for local anesthetic and extension tubing, a 3 ml syringe and a 25 gauge needle for local anesthetic skin wheel, sterile gloves, aseptic cleansing solution, and a peripheral nerve stimulator or an ultrasound with a sterile probe cover and jelly. Below is a basic overview of the steps needed to perform an axillary block. Note that three different techniques can be used to achieve this block. Place the patient in a supine position. Have the patient turn their head away from the side the block will be administered on. Abduct the arm 90 degrees. Prep and drape appropriately. For placement of the axillary block, palpate the axillary artery near the lateral edge of the pectoralis major muscle. Place the probe in the axilla and adjust distally to identify the four terminal branches around the axillary artery. Insert and redirect the needle as needed until a successful circumferential spread is achieved. Be sure to use a probe cover and sterile technique. Inject local anesthetic only after negative aspiration. If you meet resistance, stop.